Welcome to episode 69 of the Rail Control Show. Sponsored by AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. The Royal 110 Scale Electric National saw many different winners over this past weekend. Lucy's Mike Tree took home the win in open two-wheel drive buggy. The team associated is Ryan Cavallari and Ryan Mayfield won the open four-wheel drive and open short course classes. And Kirsten's Jared Tebow was the big winner in open truck. Check out our full online coverage of the Roar Nats at rccaraction.com slash Roar2010. I'm actually in the second round. Uh, right when I got done running, it was a pretty solid run. It started raining, and anytime the track gets a little moisture in it, it makes it a lot faster. So um, that was just kind of bad luck. But uh, today we you know, changed some tires, tried some different foam, uh, stiffened up the front oil a little bit, and uh, it worked really good. The biggest all helicopter event in the country is the International RC Helicopter Association annual Urcha Fly-In, hosted at the AMA Flight Facility in Muncie, Indiana. With more than 950 registered pilots, this year was clearly one of the biggest RC gatherings anywhere in the world. Check out our full coverage on modelairplanenews.com. We brought to the news that Kyle Busch will be running some off-road races in the Traxxas Torque Series, but we didn't see this latest news coming. Traxxas will be one of Busch's main sponsors for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Will Traxxas soon release a licensed truck to coincide with a recent sponsorship of Kyle Busch? We'll weigh in on this topic in the Radio Control Zone forums. Today's episode of the Radio Control Show is brought to you exclusively by AmainHobbies.com for all your RC needs. AmainHobbies.com carries a huge inventory of RC cars, trucks, helis, planes, parts and accessories, all at the best prices around. For one-stop RC shopping, look no further than AmainHobbies.com. The E-Flight Beechcraft Bonanza 15ER is reviewed in the October 2010 issue of Model Airplane News. This 48-inch span sport-scale V-tail flyer is powered by an E-Flight Power 15 brushless motor and power system. It comes with retractable landing gear and turns heads everywhere it shows up. I'm Jason Sams with Radio Control Car Action. I'm here with Futaba Scott Kramer. So Scott, what do we have here? Uh, basically we have our brand new Futaba 4PKS. Uh, just kind of updating the older 4PK that we had. And some cool features that are really neat about it now is we have a brand new toggle switch, which makes it a lot easier to navigate, a lot more solid field uh, to, to stick and push the buttons, doesn't bounce around at all like some of the complaints we had before. Uh, some other cool things is we've uh, increased the speed. It's now twice as fast response time as the older 4PK. And uh, got a brand new trigger design. And uh, a couple of the cool little things we've got is we've got this little adapter that we could put in back of the wheel and actually increase or decrease the amount of throw on the steering. And then the other thing that's really cool is we have our brand new receiver, which is right here, and it's a lot smaller footprint and uh, height-wise than the older receiver. And my last question for you, is this new receiver backwards compatible with the old 4PK? Yes, it is. That'll work with the old 4PK. And actually, the, 60, the two 603s, the old 604, and the current 604 work with the Futaba 4PK S. So all the older receivers are compatible. Okay, great. So this smaller receiver, if you're into it, you want to stick it in one of your newer vehicles, you can use this if you have the uh, older 4PK. All right, uh, I want to show you a quick little difference here between the brand new 4-channel receiver with the 4PKS and the old 4-channel receiver from the original 4PK. As you can see, this one's a lot thinner compared to the older one and a little bit smaller footprint, which makes it you know, ideal for the uh, 12 scales and the touring car guys that were looking for something a little bit smaller for the, for the tight fits. The other thing that's a big feature of this is now it's high voltage capable, so you can actually run a LiPo directly into there with uh, no regulator needed. Congratulations to Korth Cruz from Norfolk, Nebraska for winning a ZRT1 Truggy in our Rated Control Show sweepstakes. You can win an Electrofly F20 Tiger Shark EDF. Go to modelairplanenews.com slash rcshowsweeps, fill out the form, and enter code EDF2. Radio Control Electric Performance is now available for enthusiasts who are all about electric power. In this special issue, you'll see a 100 mile an hour A scale buggy, several sick custom builds, the latest in electronic technology, and a 24 hour thrash test of a Team Associates new SCAE ready to run, and much more. Grab your copy today at your local newsstand. Win a $50 gift certificate to airhstore.com. It's easy. Just go to rccaraction.com slash rcshowsweeps and enter code AAM50. Good luck. 
Futaba is hosting an electric off-road race this weekend, which is going to take place on two different tracks. Stay tuned to rccaraction.com for coverage of this really unique event. What could be more fun than flying all day at beautiful locations like golf courses and parks? That's what Dan Metz does. He developed a company, BirdX, that humanely scares away unwanted local bird populations. Dan's RC Eagle is equipped with screeching birds and trouble sounds, and his red flying boat has metallic streamers that geese don't like at all. And you can see how quickly that thing is unbelievably maneuverable. We can go up, we can roll, we can loop, we can do anything we wish. And, uh, and I'll bring it right back around here, and now we're going to land it right in front of us here in a slow manner. This week's tech tip is for all you nitro racers out there. The cooler your fuel, the better your engine's going to run. And the exhaust gases coming into your fuel tank from your exhaust can warm up the fuel a little bit. So what I like to do is take a fuel filter and put it on my exhaust pressure line to help dissipate some of the heat from the exhaust that enters in my tank. That way my fuel will be a little bit cooler and I'll have a little more horsepower. Remember to head to your local hobby shop, newsstand, or airagestore.com for the October issues of Rated Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. We'll see you next time. Don't judge me. Ready? What? <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Kevin, do you want to... Hold on. Not ready. Oh. Sorry. Welcome to episode 16. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode No, because I was looking away now because you were laughing. The <laughs> in Muncie cat. Why did I want to say California? Oh. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate.